And a tiny baby from Queens is ready to return home after a life-saving liver transplant. Her donor is a Marine veteran from Stamford who gave the gift of life to a stranger. CBS News' Tony Aiello tells us the donor and the recipient are strangers no more. Eight-month-old Ariane Perez, precious and beautiful, and alive today at Montefiore Medical Center because a stranger was willing to literally give a piece of himself. And with each month, these babies can get sicker and sicker. So we know that she had a terminal diagnosis without a transplant. Hi. Ariani's donor is John Rubino, a rare double donor. He gave his left kidney to a stranger in 2019 and a piece of his liver to Ariani on March 2nd. Right now, my heart's smiling, and uh, a lot of people ask me all the time, what do you get out of being a donor? When you see a child as healthy as that, that's worth it right there. This is a vivid illustration. On top is the liver doctors removed from the baby. Below is the small section of John's liver transplanted into Ariani. I think the prognosis is excellent. You know, in that situation, the baby is doing so well, more likely that the baby will be very well for a long almost normal life, maybe to take one pill a day. Esperanza Perez believes God had a plan for John and Ariani. Uh, she's a miracle of life. I told everyone, she's a miracle of life. And she's a warrior. He's a warrior too, a Marine veteran who answered the call to give of himself. Mission accomplished. In Norwood, the Bronx, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. My goodness. John told us giving part of his liver was actually much more taxing on his body than donating a kidney. But two weeks after surgery, he says he feels great. And by the way, within months, the liver will grow back, doctors tell us, and function normally. It's like a miracle. It really is.